So news broke about two hours ago that Nemanja Milunovic will not be back with Red Star um, next season. He is a free agent. He has signed with Turkish club Alianspor. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Uh, he's been with Red Star for two and a half years, two and two and a bit. I, th I think he came in February of 2019. Um, so when you ask me, if you were to ask me what moments stick out the most in Milunovic's um, tenure with Red Star, I would probably point to two moments. Uh, the goal against Ghent in the Europa League group stage this past season and the goal against Olympiakos in 2019, October 2019. Uh, Red Star went behind 1-0 against Olympiakos, tied it up at 1-1, and then Milunovic scored in the 87th minute uh, off a corner kick, I believe it was, and Richmond Boachi scored in added time to end up winning 3-1, but Milunovic's goal was the game-winning goal. His goal made it 2-1, um, and yeah, I... He was he was a good servant of the club, I would say. Uh, there was moments where um, he gets nonchalant on the ball, and I've talked about this in my past vlogs, where he kind of is a little bit careless uh, with the ball. But he is something that I really like about him. He's a safety first guy. If he feels pressure coming from the oppos opposition's, you know, attacking players, wingers, whatever the case may be. He is not someone who's afraid to get the ball out, just clear into safety and then just kind of get rid of it. And like I said, he gets into these kind of uh, moments where he does a little bit too much with the ball, where he feels like he can dribble a little bit, which as a center back, if you get caught, you're pretty much done. The team hits you on a counter and, and it's a great um, chance for them to score a goal. But like I said, most of the time he's a safety first guy. If he's not too sure, he's going to get it out. I feel like in the big matches that Red Star played, he played really well, um, containing some of the better strikers in the world. Uh, and obviously there was times where, you know, they kind of left them in, in the dust um, because they are faster. He's a fairly slow center back, which is not, I mean, it, it's fairly normal. Center backs are usually kind of slower. Um, but one thing I'll say is he is exceptional off set pieces. So corner kicks and free kicks. Red Star scored more than 30 goals off set pieces this season. Um, he had a number of them. Uh, so he's very, very good in the air, whether that's defending or, uh, you know, in the attacking third. One thing I'll say is at times he's been caught um, in his defensive end, goes up for a header and he uses his elbow. Um, Copenhagen is, is a perfect example of that, where you got two yellow cards basically for elbowing um, Copenhagen striker. And obviously two yellow cards is a red and he was out and it was early in the second half. I think that he got his second yellow. It was something like the 50, 50 first minute. Um, so Red Star was, you know, on the back foot and luckily they ended up winning it in, in penalties. But um, that's something to, to, to keep an eye on if you're an uh, Allianz Sport fan. Like I said, he's exceptional in the air, really good in the air, whether um, free kicks, any any set piece, he, he is really good. Uh, he, he is just a center back. I know that there's center backs, you know, some can play center back, some can play right back, left back, even defensive mid. He is just a pure center back, no right mid, no left mid for him. Uh, one thing that we have noticed as Red Star fans, he's probably a little bit better with a three back, with a three center back system. So like a three, four, three, three, five, two. And as the, um, as the main guy in, in, in the middle between the two other center backs. I think that's probably his best position. He's also good with, with just your typical four back system with the left back, left back, right back, and two center backs. Uh, but I feel like he thrives a little bit more with three guys in the back line where he's um, the middle guy there as, as sort of the sweeper there. Uh, so, so I think that's kind of uh, where he plays his best football. Look, in 87 appearances for Red Star, he had 10 goals and I believe it was two assists. So he scores about, I mean, that's every 8.7 matches, which is really good for a center back when you consider that most of their goals do come off set pieces. So corner kicks, free kicks, that type of stuff, broken play sometimes. Um, so that's something to keep an, keep an eye out for. Um, he's not shy about picking up cards. I'll say that as well. If, if he feels like, you know, that he's dealing with a much faster player, he's not afraid um, to make a foul and, and pick up a yellow card. Um, long legs so he does have the potential to cut off 
uh, a lot of um, you know counter attacks and stuff like that. I I finished saying that you know um, he is kind of slow, but he does have long legs, so his the potential of stopping plays, you know, where he could get it kind of his foot in and, and get the ball off the striker is very good. Um, I'm not sure what the situation is with with Alan Spore, and, and I assume he's going to be starting. Um, but yeah, I think I think it's a great addition for them because of the fact of the factors that I mentioned. I think the positives do outweigh the negatives. Um, and yeah, uh, look forward to seeing what he has in the future. He hasn't featured much for the national team, although to tell you the truth, um, you know now we're kind of struggling at the back, so I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a call up. If he plays, I mean that's a different story. But I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a call up because there are a lot of young players um, in Serbia's national team in, in the back line. And him as a 31, 32 year old, very experienced, uh, Europa League experience, Champions League experience, um, that veteran leadership could come in handy.